Alright guys, how's it going? Sorry, I forgot to update it. Uh, so we are playing New World and we're actually going to be participating in an invasion. Let's see how that goes. here waiting for it to begin.
going, man. Definitely interesting. You would like it. Uh, there's one in uh, Monarch Bluff in I think like an hour or something. If you want to join that one. I need to buy some stuff. Oh, fuck.
fucking A.
So far, only died once. That was crazy. How do you get out now? Doesn't no good. How do you get out of the war? This sucks. This sucks. So 
we just gotta sit here and wait for it to kick us, essentially. Nope, I'm still in here. Or did it just leave me? Alright, I'll just do that. But I'm not in a war. We log out then. Alright, guys, be right back.
All right, we are back, guys. Already passed. I guess nobody's signing up for that one.
Let's see here. What do I want to do?
Yes, you absolutely can.
word for nothing by its inception. It's the corrupted of a camel position there. Do some craft grinding, I guess. Thank you. 
Fucking bots clearing out all these fucking trees, man.
Fun times, guys. Fun times. Welcome to fight for justice, Asaka. Here on these ends.
I am literally just, uh, mining shit, uh, just getting crafting up. Trying to get it all like, uh, my logging, mining, leather working, all that shit up. Come on. When you gonna hop back on?
Anybody else see a tree floating in the sky?
assistant and giggity. What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? What up? Uh... Ah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Nice. Yeah, I... I, I was zoned out, um... When you sent that message, I had it on a different screen. Because I was looking at crafting stuff. Oh, no worries, man. Yeah, I was just trying to get my logging up and shit like that.
what you planning on doing? Damn, I just got your message. Which one? You a bitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was standing right behind you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I was what was that? Just a few, like a minute ago. <laughs> I was standing behind you and I sent you a message saying, you a bitch. And I did the uh, throat slip motion. You had your map pulled up and everything. <laughs> not paying attention. I was not. I'm making a lodestone, bro, because I need. I have so many missions for lodestone, bro. Mm. Like, I'm halfway through 57 right now. Damn! 57? Yeah. Nice. Did you get some uh, nice purple gear out of. or I got some out of the invasion? Yeah, I need to do one of those, bro. Trying to get up to that 60, man. Yeah, I feel you. I'm going to uh, Ebenskill right now. Uh, I'm heading north of uh, Morningdale right now. Yeah. I got like two missions I'm trying to do. Two side missions I'm trying to finish. Drinking on that whiskey or what? Yeah. Nice. My wife went and picked me up another bottle. I finished that other bottle. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. Yes, sir.
Yeah, my son's not feeling too well, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got like a little cold or something. Mm -hmm. fever or anything just no fever really just like a little head cold almost mm -hmm. as long as he don't have a fever I'm not too worried but yeah Wow, do you follow Snyder on uh, Twitch? Yeah, I do. I was watching him uh, play like a fishing game earlier, and he was yeah. playing like legit, like uh, just like real music, and he wasn't getting in trouble for it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how all that works. Like, I know there's like something you can do to where, um, essentially it's not on your VOD. Like, most of the time, they won't, like, DMCA you on live. Yeah. Um, it's usually on your VODs that you end up getting DMCA'd. What does a DMCA mean? Um, it's the, uh, digital music, uh, copyright act or something. Will they find you for it, or is it just like a... Well, you get, if you, you'll get three strikes on Twitch, and after your third strike, they'll, uh, they'll terminate you. I'm just gonna play some music and see if they do it. I don't know. I doubt they'll do it. We'll see. Just because we're such like, I mean, we're not even affiliates yet. It, it still doesn't even matter. It's a program that they have that runs through it. Well, what I read was that sometimes the, like, if you're not affiliated, you can slip through the cracks. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. As long as they ain't finding me for that shit, I don't really care. Yeah. Getting lit tonight or what? No. Bitch. <laughs> 
someone selling titties on global chat and tamales. What's up with everybody in uh, Discord? Uh, I have no idea. Is anybody in our company online or what? Uh, Jigster's on. Um, oh yeah, you want to hop a... in there and fuck with him a little bit or what? No. Oh, uh, hey, there's a lot of people online. I guess they're just not in chat or in Discord. I'm gonna I... hop in there and fuck with Jigster a little bit. I'm well... nice and drunk, so. <laughs> well, he, he's muted. Oh, he won't be very long. And then I just need the major armoring trophies and major loot luck, which are both just absurdly expensive. But I'm getting my list down, you know? <laughs> it's getting smaller. So So what's the point of, of doing like all the leveling all your crafting up if we have people that can do it already? I don't know, I just like to be self sufficient. I mean I got you, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and no one had jewel crafting up anyways. No one like I'm the only one with jewel crafting, furnishing. I'll probably be the first one to have weapon smithing. Oh, so what's your furnishing right now? It's two hundred. Every everything's two hundred except for weapon smithing and fishing. Oh hell yeah, bro. Yeah. I need you to make me some storage chests. <laughs> yeah, I can make the uh I can't make the Orichalcum ones, but I can make the Dynasty and like the Star I just need something ones. like to put in my house, bro. I have just like the basic quest one. Like the, you know, I'm on like the... Uh, I never finished the quest line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like the basic like wooden storage chest. Mm. Or whatever. That's yeah, I can definitely... I can make all the storage chests except for Orichalcum. That's, that one's uh, non-existent for sale. <laughs> what do you need for that one? The schematic that isn't available ever. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that schematic probably would go for like 100k or something. At least. Gotcha. Yeah. Where do you even find it? I think just supply crates and high level yeah. zones. Mm. But like, almost nobody has it. Like, there's very few people that even have that. And it's like, I don't know, I want it, just for completionist type of deal, but like, it's not even really worth it, like, the amount of chests that you would have to sell to make your money back would be pretty significant, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be a pretty high amount of chests you have to make to get your money back. Yeah. I mean, how much does it store? 500. But like, the other thing too, like I wanted just to have it eventually, but like the other thing too is like the polished marble storage chest and the cursed storage chest go for about the same price as the Orichalcum ones, and they're slightly bigger. But those ones just, they drop from, um, those ones drop from like chests. Like you, it's not yeah. schematic, it's just like a rare drop. Yeah, I got one of the, the polished marble ones. And I 
uh, on one of our runs. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's why I was saying Cyber had gotten one off of one of his rooms. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. They're, uh, I got lucky when the game first dropped, someone in my company got one. And that's, you know, when there was like not really any money in the game yet, because like OPR wasn't even allowed yet. Um, so it was really hard to like generate income for the game. So everyone was pretty much broke for the most part. But he sold me the cursed storage chest, which is like the same exact capacity. I think the polished marble just looks better, um, but it's that they're both the same thing. But um, he sold me the cursed for like 2K. Jeez. I bought that. But that, that I think they're worth like, I mean, they were worth a lot at one point, but like, I think now they're worth like, what, probably eight or 9K for the polished marble. Oh yeah, probably. That's like, yeah. A, that's like a guesstimate. I looked a while ago, but. I mean, it's still a good chunk of change. I want to eventually get like all polished marble storage chests in my houses. But they're, uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Even though the cursed is like the same exact thing, the polished marble definitely just looks nicer. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have that one. I think farming star metal might be like one of the hardest things in this game, though. So contested. What are you guys up to? Just grinding. Just dicking around, bro. Trying to hit 60. Dude, how close, like, how close are you guys now? You gotta be close, huh? I'm halfway through 57. Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah, dude. You're fucking right there. That's like the worst time almost. Because yeah. you're just like, yeah. oh, fucking damn it. Like, <laughs> Why has it not happened yet? <laughs> That's how I was. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it just like, takes I, so I, long. Yeah, it definitely was like a whole ass fucking grind and then you hit 60 and there's like a whole ass just, you know, another grind. Once you hit 60, it's like, and restart, you know, and it's like a far larger grind in a sense. But at least you can have a little bit more fun once you're I mean, unless days. you just buy all your shit off the market. Yeah, but that's gonna, that's impossible as far as like getting good gear. That stuff is gonna be like to get like near perfect stuff is gonna be just a ridiculous amount of gold. But I mean, I don't know. I would get all your refining stuff to 200 if it's not already and just make your daily cooldowns of Asmodee, Emmerich, Leather, blah, 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 all that shit. And just like, you know. How you were saying how people have, you know, pretty much everyone has something leveled except for like weaponsmithing in this company, uh, which I'm working on. But I would just kind of start rolling weapons, you know what I mean? Like you could probably find like the best you can in the trader and then whatever your weakest piece is, just start using your cooldowns to roll them like once a week and make a few. See what you get. That's like my worst thing. My armor's not bad, but it's definitely not great. Faction armor's not. I have pretty much all faction armor. I just have different weapons and a different chest piece. Tibbs, uh, you know uh, Snyder's in your chat. I know, bro. I'm talking to him right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm reading it. Okay. Yeah, I, I just didn't hear you talking until I did. Cause I'm I muted you guys. Uh, I don't okay. want to. Yeah.
Cyber. What, what do you play again? Is it healer? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of working on the rapier, but I mean, when I'm at these high level places, I just go back to my Void Gauntlet. Yeah, I mean, Void Gauntlet's good. Yes. I was just wondering, because I need to, in case you switched. I uh, have some extra Void Gauntlets. You could probably have. I uh, Snyder gave me like a 599 one, like an Orc Alchem. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have too. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I mean, they're roughly about the same gear score, you know, 595 to 600. But yeah. Are, do you, does yours have good perks? Like, are they uh, good enough perks? I don't know, I'd have to check again. Um, I haven't looked at it in a while. Yeah, he gave it to me and it just went in storage because I can't use it until 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just keep asking because I have, like, some extra fire staffs and okay. void gauntlets that, like, I, mean, I can sell, but it's not even a lot of gold. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'd rather just give them to someone and avoid the whole hassle of selling it. Like, I, I wish there was an easier way for them to, like, distinguish between, like, the rare, common, and, like, legendary when you sell. Yeah. Like... Instead of, oh, what's that one item, the lowest price for that? What's the lowest price rare if you're trying to sell a rare one? I just filter by gear score and perks. Yeah. And make through stuff. But it's hard, like, I don't know, like, armor pieces, I feel like, are, like, very difficult to get what you want. Yeah. Like, people are really just selling, like, their kind of shit, in a way. Like, it, to, and uh, if it's good, it's so much gold. Yeah. Like, the one thing I'm having a hard time right now is, um, Narco was telling me to find, like, a life staff or whatever that had, like, blessed and, uh, refreshing move. And, like, there's only one on the market for the last, the last couple days. But it is a dex one, not a focus. And how much is it? It's like 1500. Like, I could get it, but I'm like, I don't want a dex one, I want a focus one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. If you get like a, yeah. get like a timeless shard for life staffs and start doing like all your cooldowns, like for Asmodeum and Glittering Ebony mm -hmm. and all that shit, start make sure you can do all those and do those daily. And, uh, then just roll life staffs and you can make sure it has blast you can make sure it has yeah. focused and then you're just rolling one perk i would do it like once a week honestly though i wouldn't do it daily it might get like disheartening yeah <laughs> save up a week of them and then see what you get Participated in my first invasion today. How'd you like that? I mean, it, it was fun. It was definitely interesting. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty good time. Yeah. Like, it wasn't that bad up until that final wave. Yeah, are they winning invasion of this server now? I. I I don't know. I know that there was... I don't know, yeah. Last time I saw... Uh, yeah, the one I was in, we won, but I haven't seen any others recently.
Oh, it's Japan. Pretty terrible. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely uh, like awful. Oh, uh, really? It. Yeah, I'm just stuck on base. Mm -hmm. Work. I've worked for two weeks. Today's my first off day. Oh wow. Been working from like 7:30 to 5:30 every single day since I got here. Literally got off the plane and went to work. Like they gave us enough time to like make our beds and like put our stuff in our lockers and then go to work. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. I'm. I definitely am super over it. Two weeks in. Yeah. But it is what it is. The fuck out of here and go to Spain. <laughs> oh nice. So are you in the Navy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my wife is Army. Uh, they have it worse, don't they? Ah. Uh, yeah, like a field exercises and shit all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. She's constantly gone. Like um, before COVID hit, I mean, it was like almost like every other month they were having like some sort of like training that they had to leave and go for for like a week or something. Yeah. I'm just over like, they keep making like stupid rules for us. Mm -hmm. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm so over the fucking stupid rules. Nice. Are you guys Especially like locked stuff. on base? Yeah. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah. COVID has like super spread. Mm -hmm. Like most of our people are down to... So if you, if you didn't get COVID, you pretty much got fucked. I didn't get COVID. So there's just not enough people to do the work that they want us to do. Yeah. But it's still yeah. Like done. And then you're like on duty constantly. But I, I get, I kind of can pick my duty a little. So I, yeah. I was smart. I got duty tonight from 1.30 in the morning until 7.30. Oh, okay. And then I work, yeah, and then I work from 1.30 to 7.30 on duty, like I had to be sitting at like, we call it our quarter deck, like kind of if anyone important comes in, it's good to go. Yeah. And um, people check in and out there, and then I go to work as soon as I get off from 7.30 until 11.30 in the morning, yeah. and then I'm off. Yeah. So, I like purposefully chose that. Like I can't stand that. <laughs> you get right Snyder. Now. You know, like I was saying, like, these stupid rules they keep making. So I was like, I would rather sit at a desk on the quarter deck and not do anything than and work a half day and be up at one in the morning and go to work. At this point, like my actual shop. Oh, yeah. at this point. They were like making like this big thing where like they're because like I'm our field mechanic, so like if anything breaks down, I have to go drive and fix it. So I have like a duty phone on yeah. me all the time yeah. if anyone calls i have to bounce in the like, truck they allotted me these full tools and they were like making up they've been like changing the rules with that like on an hourly basis like they don't allow me to take it to lunch anymore i have to walk because higher ups are getting upset because they don't have trucks and then they told me i wasn't allowed to take it down where our barracks are at all and then i was laughing about that because i was like i hope something breaks down i'm gonna take so long to get there like i hope no oil spills everywhere like, like, I'm gonna just take my sweet time walking all the way to the shop to get the truck. Yeah. Then they changed yeah. that back. And then they told me in our yard where all our equipment is that I have to have a ground guide walk in front of me while I drive the truck through there. And I was like, dude, it's, it's like, it's literally a pickup truck. And they're like, nah, it's green gear. It's like a Humvee. And I'm like, no, it's a Chevy. Like, yeah. Like, I drive yeah. a car through parking lots. Like, when I go home, like, this isn't like a Humvee, this is called a Chevy. Like, <laughs> it's a truck. <laughs> oh my god, I was so annoyed, dude. But they, I don't know, then they changed that back. So they just, I don't know. They don't know what they want. It's the military for you. Yeah, dude, but it's been like five years of it straight for me, so I'm like at my wit's end. <laughs> like, they need to chill out. Yeah. They need a break. Yeah. But really, I just get to go to Spain for three years, and I'm getting out. So, enjoy Spain for a few years, see all that stuff, and then deuces. How long have you been in, Jixi? About almost five years now. Okay. So, I'll get to eight, and then I'll probably go reserves. 
and then just go get out and get a different job. I'm reserves right now. I was in for five, and then I got out of my reserves. And yeah, be prepared for a lot of uh, a lot of nothing. Oh yeah, I'm fine with that, dude. Like, <laughs> and a lot of uh, hurry up and wait. Sorry, I'm fucking fighting this guy right now. He's um a lot of fucked up individuals. Yeah, I mean that's fine with me though. I would just stay reserved so you can you know so that my eight years that I put in I can at least get some kind of retirement out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I got you. Reserves yeah. go about goes about points though. Yeah, I mean well so does active duty from because I was talking to uh like some of my wife's family, I think is in the reserves. And they're they're in the air force, but they're like E seven and E eight. Well, active is by sister. years. So if you don't well, do twenty, you're not retiring. No, it's it's also by points too, though. You have to do twenty years to get your retirement, but you get your like you get your points maxed out every year because you're active duty. So like it's still like a technically a point based system. So like you take all the points you accumulated while you're active duty, and then you go into reserves. So like maybe your reserve is like a full time reserve. So it's like. 25 i'm just throwing random numbers out but this is kind of how i was explaining like they might get like 25 percent of the retirement if they like do well in the reserves or something like that but like a um if you were active duty for eight years you had eight years of full points so that'll like kind of beef up the retirement when you're done being a reservist i don't know does that does that make sense like you're in the reserves so i mean does that make sense well i mean I, ju I, ju I mean i ets in october so i'm fairly new to the reserve so i'm not exactly yeah. sure how the point system goes but i know as far as the active goes from what i've heard it was 20 for retirement and then you know so on and so on after that but i never heard yeah. like point for active duty before it, i didn't know that was uh from what i was explained is like active duty is still a point based system too but like since you're active duty like you automatically just have your like points like maxed out each year so when you transfer to the reserves you know you basically go there with eight yeah, years I'm trying, out Snyder, I'm trying oh you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah 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 so yeah i mean you're definitely a far ahead of the, of the curve when it comes to like points and shit yeah it probably i think because because reserve time is only you know one two and a half one more month, levels or, uh, one weekend out of the month and one week out of the year yeah whereas then when you're active you know it's every fucking day or whatever but well, and then, like, I think, too, like, it's, like, every year you do active duty, you can subtract from the date that you'd get your reservist retirement. Like, every year you do active is one year off your reservist retirement up to five years. So, like, you'll get your retirement Don't let them, fuck, don't let them fuck you earlier. with that, bro. Don't let them fuck you with that. Do your research, because I, I've never heard that before. No, I looked it up, like, because I, I dove deep into this, like... Have you taken uh, ta uh, SFL TAP yet? When are you getting out? Oh, I still have like three and a half years. Okay, make sure you take the TAP class twice. One time is, I, t I tell all my soldiers this, one time is not enough for for you to like process the information that's needed out of that class. You need to take it at least twice. Okay. Dude, that is such a good class. And it, it's come a long way from what it used to be. Yeah, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. I'll be getting lucky too because this next uh, duty station in Spain, all we're doing is just shore power for all the ships that come in and pretty much just offloading and onloading all their missiles and stuff like that with cranes. So I'll just be on crane crew. So I'll probably get all my crane licenses and, and all that shit before I get out. Uh, the army's the best, or military in general is the best for certifications. I'll tell you that right yeah. now. Like I yeah, got out with a fucking personal trainer. I'm like, I'm master MFT. Or the Navy kind of, yeah, the Navy kind of sucks with it because they don't give you the civilian equivalent most of the time. Um, they just basically give you a Navy license that doesn't help you at all as far as getting licensed in the civilian world. You have to do that on your own for almost everything. But at least that I know of in my community, but cranes is different. With with cranes, you actually get your actual certs to like operate the crane and stuff like that, and then. You can take that out and a lot of the guys that are on the crane crew they get emails and job offers all the time to be like a crane mech or like a crane operator or 
whatever and then most of them like even if they made rank quick they like are just they're done they're getting out because they got offered you know a six figure year job or close to it you know starting so they're like well <laughs> i'm done here like because one of them picked up second class in like three and a half years like e5 in three and a half years um and he was what, what is your mos so i'm i'm a construction mechanic in the cbs so it's like basically okay. like you like it uh, i hate it <laughs> why did you join the army sorry i don't i don't mean to ask you so many questions i'm just no, no. yeah i'm in the navy but um oh shit, bro okay okay I'm yeah no, you're good, but... Oh, dude, I, I was uh, actually, uh... My first duty station was on a Navy base. Huh. Yeah, I was on uh, Naval Station Great Lakes, where you probably did your oh. basic. Yeah. Yeah, it's our boot camp. That was, uh... Oh. That was where I was stationed at. Oh. Yeah, but... I, I just joined to kind of, like... Because I wasn't taking college seriously. I was in college for welding, but I wasn't, yeah. like, really yeah. taking it seriously. So, like, a trade school it. type thing? Yeah, well, I went to like actual college for half a year and then I dropped out because I just wasn't feeling it. It was just going to parties and having fun. And then I moved across the country to New York to try to go to college for welding because my like, other part of my family lived there. And I was like, I'm just going to get away from these friends, like go do it here and then just chill with my other friends. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so that didn't work out. It backfired. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Like if I fail this semester, like I'm going to join the Navy. It's like a threat. And uh, apparently it wasn't a stern enough threat because <laughs> I sure failed that semester at welding because I didn't show up to the class nearly enough. Damn, um, so I was gonna damn. join. Yeah, I was gonna join the Navy as a steelworker, like a welder, um, and I had the contract in front of me. Um, and at the time, I was just changing oil at like a little shop, like and doing the, the welding classes, you know, half the time. Um, but I hated being a mechanic. Like never ever. It, have enjoyed that in my life like i don't mind knowing stuff but like it's that could absolutely die if that's what i had to do full-time for my job um which i'm doing but um so i had i had welder in front of me right and i was at maps dude and they i i got it wasn't even my recruiter my recruiter was super chill i get i just this fucker at maps gave me like the best speech about how hard it was to get construction mechanic in the Navy and how rare of orders it was and like how you need a high ASVAB to even be offered these and like literally just set me up so good to just screw me over. <laughs> and I, I, yeah, I bit into every part of it and didn't sign SW and sign CM. And yeah, now I'm a mechanic. <laughs> but it hasn't been completely bad. You know, there's been some good trainings. Like I was on a, uh, well drilling team for water so it was like what we hold water well um so we did that and i was operating backhoes and and stuff like that and that's fun i don't mind operating machinery so i'm hoping with this crane thing i don't think we do a ton of maintenance on the crane i think we do basic maintenance on it but if there's any major repairs it goes to like crane qualified mechanics because of how high risk it is so i think while i'm at this crane crew thing i'll be able to, to get a lot of opportunity to actually operate the crane oh, and i'm cool. in college yeah and i'm in school right now so i'm kind of setting up to get out as best i can yeah but they they pulled a sneaky sneaky dude like you go in there like they're not gonna trick me dude like i got some lock like nah dude they fucking <laughs> hyped me up dude I signed that paper. They hyped me up real good. I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Are you serious? Like, how could I turn this opportunity down? There's people with, like, ASVAB waivers in there. They scored so low. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... That's, that's how the military is, man. They... Sorry, my bad. I mean, oh, no, you good. And I was just saying, yeah, that's the, the shiesty thing. They have a quota to fill, so they'll try to find the yeah. one guy that can talk up that position. Yeah, they got my ass. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know. It was worth it, though. I mean, I think doing a minimum contract at the very least is always worth it. The VA loan and the GI Bill, dude, Yeah, are just ridiculous. Super strong tools. But...
Yeah, I kind of wish like it was we were kind of like uh, some of these countries that it was like a mandatory requirement that you have to join the military. Yeah, that's that's like a super touchy subject for people, not me, yeah. but I completely agree with you. Um, unless you have a valid reason that you can't. Yeah. Like disability, etc. But yeah. Like, I mean, keep their same, like, rules, uh, like, their policies on, like, health and stuff like that for keeping people out, but. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, to me, it was, it was good. It was like... I was muted. I'm not going to say mandatory, bro. I'm not. I just, just because the military is not for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty rough. There's a lot of people that do not need to be nor belong in the military yeah yeah some, sometimes yeah. they re-enlist <laughs> exactly yeah I mean, they, exactly bro. some watch that right now and, and and honestly they should put the standard for basic and ait is not what it should be i mean you're talking about the best of the best yeah not the best of the best but you're talking about the best of america you know what I mean? Like, the one percenters, right? Like, yeah. there's not many of us, bro. There's not many people that are willing to join the military. So if you do join the military, there should be a standard, and the standard should be high. And yeah, 35 push-ups, really or whatever with... the case may be, is not is not cutting it. You know? I literally I mean, work with people who have, like, autism, and some are, like, actually mentally retarded. Like, they're legitimately educated. Right, bro. And, 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 and nothing against those people, but, like... I mean, he was high Is functioning, it... and he was a uh, electrician, so it actually like might have been okay for him. But like, I've seen people that are just like low functioning, and you can tell they have something going on with them. And it's like, how the fuck, like, are you even here? Like, it's yeah. Insane. But here's the thing, though, right, bro? So when when all shit breaks loose, and push comes to shove, and and pedal to the metal, and it's time to go to war, like that's not the person you want watching your back. You know what I mean, like. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like there should be a uh, certain standard that everybody should have to meet, whether you're a tech or whether you're a pilot drone or, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? Like, but like there, there it's, should it's be, kinda stupid. But, but also you shouldn't be able to get sneak past the ranks just because you're a PT stud. You should have <laughs> some type of fucking mental, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't. Just because you can do 107 push-ups in two minutes doesn't mean you should make sergeant. You know what I mean? Like it's like that's not how it should work. But unfortunately, yeah, I, that's... yeah. dude, I literally there's a guy. Uh, this is his second command. Probably been in seven or eight years. He is like super fat, and out of shape. But, like, I'm doing good, man. Legit, dude, the Navy's uh, the worst about that, and I, I don't mean to show, show my ass they the other day, about, day on they, stream. They don't like they drink too much while playing Apex. They could care less about going to the gym. Like, I don't know how it is for other branches, but like what I've seen of the Marines, the little bit I've been around them, like they PT during their lunch. Like they might even get a longer lunch to go work out. Like they know everyone goes to the gym on lunch. Give them that time to go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> like they're, they're focused about that. The Navy, they don't care at all. Like they just want to get like, we just work horrible hours. Like and we're just working all day long, like for no reason sometimes. But, um, but no, this dude, he's like, he's in the military, he's legitimately retarded. Yeah, it's been a rough like, couple days. Like, being an asshole. <laughs> like, we've taught, and he's, he's an E5. He's a, it's a petty officer second class for us. To try to, uh, he's an E5. Back. He was so dumb when he showed up to our command that when we were doing one of our field exercises, and we have to, like, set up a camp, basically, like a functional camp with defense, um, he was so dumb that instead of being in a position of authority, they made him ground guide an E3 driving a fuel truck and then made him wear an apron and like the face mask and all that stuff and fill up, you know, things around the camp with diesel. And like he was literally ground guiding an E3 and E3 is telling him what to do. You know, who's that bad? Like we've been discussing it for a while on our command. Like what is wrong with this guy? And like a lot of people think that like his last command thought it would be like a funny prank. But like, you know, cause you can like map people. I don't know if you have the same program, but we pretty much auto promote him. And then we're like, dude, it has to be a prank from his last command. It's the only option. Yeah, I've known uh, a couple people like that where you're kind of like, how did you get promoted? Yeah. 
But then there's like, I work with dudes, like one dude, he was gonna be Swick, and he's been in eight years, and he's only E4 still, and he can't pick up for his life, and he's a good mechanic, and so his in-rate knowledge is good, and he's a PT stud, like the dude looks like he's built in a test tube, yeah. and like yeah. a perfectly functional, smart human being, works hard, does his job, has literally people who don't even show up to work have gotten auto-remoted over him, and it's just like, mind-blowing. But it's because they played the political game. And like, he doesn't play the political game. He just goes to work and does what he's supposed to and goes to the gym. Like, as long as this dude will work all day long, as long as he gets time to go to the gym, he's cool. Like, <laughs> and I mean, just, I don't know. that is one of the things. So, yeah, if you don't play the game, you're not gonna uh, get promotions and stuff like that that's one thing i hated about the military yeah i refuse to play the game i'm e4 but yeah. it and it's been you know almost five years but and i get high evals i don't get the best eval because i don't play the game but i get basically like the one right under that like the next eval up that i would get would pretty be pretty much be a we expect you pick up this test because we gave you that email. I get the one right below that email. Like you do very good. We don't worry about you. You're an adult email. But like I, I do not play the game. And I also yeah. I go to work. Yeah. We, like I'm not gonna go and do volunteer hours and I'll just sit and you know run all these after work programs that no one cares about. Like I'm not gonna go do all that extra paperwork shit. Like. Like right now, I'm on call 24/7 every single day because I have this stupid phone for the field field mechanic truck, and like that's cool. That's my job. You assigned it to me. Like I I can roll with that. <laughs> that that's the job you gave me. I'll do it. But like, yeah. I will not be volunteering to be like the you know sexual assault prevention person. Like I'm not gonna know. <laughs> like yeah. I don't want to go tell people you know what not to do and all that other bullshit. Like. I don't know. I like to. That's why I live off base, dude. Like back in Cali. Like I get off work and I leave that motherfucker. <laughs> out of there. But apparently, the command I'm in now is the absolute worst command in the CDs. Like the battalion. Like in general, there's multiple battalions, but like ours isn't the worst. But it's probably pretty close. But it's like the worst it gets. Like anything from there is like significantly better. So they're like, as long as you make it through this, like, you might actually stay in the, the Navy for a while. And then you just basically try to not come back. <laughs> <laughs> but the CBs actually have pretty cool orders. They, uh, like, a lot of us get attached to, like, EOD yeah. or, like, SEAL yeah. teams, stuff like that. But you gotta be like pretty moto to go there. I don't think I'm a good enough mechanic to go there because like they have to like actually like do real shit on the fly. Like because you actually might like go do you're not like obviously like movie missions with them, but you might actually be in like a hostile area and like if your Humvee gets shot up like in a breaks down, like you're the one everyone's gonna look at to be like, hey, like motherfucker, like get this thing going. We got you. Fix it. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm good on that one. A lot of the older dudes have stories about that, like Iraq and Afghanistan. Like, you know, radiator got shot, <laughs> and they're basically just getting covered while they're like trying to fucking fix it in whatever ghetto way they can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the. Buddy that was in the army as a mechanic, he just got out because they kind of like shafted him. He was like 1% yeah. over tape. And they, uh, they took him out because of that. What, uh, but I think the, the Marines and the army seem to do, like, their... Like, cause it's MOS for them, it's rating for us, that's what the job is, but like, yeah. for Army and, um, Marines, I'm pretty sure it's both MOS, but they, they do their MOS as smarter, cause from what I've heard about their mechanics, is they, like, specialize. Yeah. Like, 
they don't like for us we like you're expected to know everything about all the equipment it seems like with them it's like this is like you're gonna work on light equipment you're gonna work on heavy equipment they make it like simplified oh wow. like not that it's simple but like those people actually know you know every morsel of that equipment because that's what yeah. they work on yeah it's way smarter <sighs> Dude, I gotta farm like 10,000 star metal ore. Jesus. Yeah, I'm at a thousand. I really can't wait because, like, the Okinawans kind of blamed the military here for, like, the uh, spread of COVID. I cannot wait until they, like, take off their, like, little leaving base, man. Yeah. And go get a bowl yeah. of ramen. That's all I really care about. Oh, I just want a fucking bowl of ramen, dude. Like, that's all I'm asking for. One bowl. That shit's so good here. I bet. Yeah, me and my wife are looking at either going to Germany, Japan, or possibly Puerto Rico for the next duty uh, station. I would do Germany all day, dude. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't know. I don't like the Japanese. I'm not into, like, the Japanese culture that uh, much. Okay. It's very respectful. Very nice people. But, um... I don't know. I just feel like Germany's so in the center of everything. Yeah. Like that's yeah. very dope. That's why I chose, because I was looking at Italy or Spain, and I chose Spain, because I, I figured it had pretty good access to, like, a lot of different areas. Cause, like, I want to see Africa while I'm there, and Portugal, Germany, you know, France, Britain, Ireland. Yeah. Like, that's going to be, like, my primary goal, is just to fucking travel as much as I possibly can for three years. Take advantage of it. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. What were you guys leaning towards? Um, like I would like Japan, just cause uh, be close to like Tokyo, the like the tech center of the world. But I would also like to be in Germany because I would like to go to Ireland, go to Oktoberfest. Oh yeah, that would be sick. Go to Italy, yeah, man, yeah. That's just easier to go Germany there. All day. I yeah. think you can see Japan whenever you want later in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's there's no way you're gonna see everything that you're able to see in Germany in one trip. Japan you could see on one trip. Yeah. Obviously not all of it, but you could explore and get the whole culture concept of Japan on one vacation later in life. Oh yeah. So like, yeah, being stationed in Europe like that, like there's just. So, so many places to go. Yeah, and so many different cultures. Yeah, and my wife speaks Spanish, so I'm not good in Spain, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're good to go. I'm gonna be awkwardly sitting there. Oh, she translates for me. <laughs> yeah. We have like our galley here, dude. I mm -hmm. need to find out the fucking hours. Bro. I don't even know if it's open right now. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss that oh. fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh, dude, so we just pushed Winsward into conflict. Damn, really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's right. They were talking about that earlier. Um, after the uh, Morningdale invasion, they were talking about going to Windsward, but because they had an invasion going on or whatever, they couldn't act uh, like mm, do certain missions. Yeah, they couldn't declare, or certain missions were kind of blocked off because yeah. of the invasion. <laughs> Yeah, the fort locks off all around it, like, pretty far yeah. out. Yeah, I hate that shit. Yeah, when that... Like, when I first started playing the game, bro, I ran into that invisible barrier, and I was like... I, like, relogged like, eight times. I thought my game was broken. But it was, it was, like, the first week the game was out, I was like, what the hell? I was like trying to run my little route to go far, and I was just running into an invisible barrier. I was just yeah. totally yeah. mind blown. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, it was because there was like an invasion or some shit. Yeah. I was like, is my game broken? Yo. Yo. How are we doing? Doing all right. Beautiful. Real peachy. Dude, when these Dryad guys fucking summon that shit from the sky, they take like no damage, bro. It's just crazy. Yeah, the sword and board dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know really what is going on with that. I just I just like there. summon like a no damage spell or something, right? Yeah, I was uh -huh. saying I'm like, what the fuck are they summoning? Like a shield, like an invisible barrier around their body. Yeah, right, bro. Or exoskeleton. I call upon the gods to summon a minus your damage by zero. I'm some fucking shit, bro. Yeah. I'm kind of drunk, bro. My, never mind me. <laughs> I drank a whole bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Plus some. Yeah. Listen, the army will do that to you, man. Dude, I like quit drinking, but I definitely had a spell in the navy where that was my saving grace. I I was already saying though, like I'm not a big drinker at all anymore. Pretty much once I had my kid is when it just ended, but. Cause it just wasn't worth it to be hung over. Right? Yeah, like it just wasn't worth it to be hung over and have to wake up to a crying kid in the morning. Like that was just the worst experience ever the first time it happened. So I just was like, I'd rather just not drink. <laughs> you know? It <laughs> wasn't like, for was... my beautiful wife. I would 100% agree with you. Yeah, but... But she's pretty great with the kids, so... Yeah, no, mine... Mine's awesome with them, but she she expects me to get my ass up. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's cool with it, but then like about an hour later, she's like, "You did this to like, yourself. Get the fuck up." <laughs> yeah. She'll set the kid down and be like, "Okay, it's your turn." And I'm like, "Uh, what?" <laughs> so, yep, you're watching it. Oh, I'm not gonna say you guys got it rough, but I got it easy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. My kid's so good though, dude. One time she put him on the. Uh, one time she put him on the fucking um, bed. She was like, I'll watch him. And I like immediately fell back to sleep. And um, I wake up and this this dude's just like, he's like, he's like, one, like nine months old actually at this point. He's just sitting there on his butt on the bed. Like could have easily just jumped off. And he's just sitting there right next to me. Look, he's just staring at me. He's just waiting. And as soon as I wake up, he's like, ha 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 ha. Like <laughs> gets up and like starts pulling my hair and shit. I'm like, oh no, please. like. <laughs> You were so peaceful for two seconds. <laughs> what?
die, were you gonna hit 60 tonight or what? Uh, I don't know about that one. I might try to hit 58 and probably hop off. Oh, dude, you gotta. I'll be in a bit, Cyber. <laughs> yeah, Tank's gonna stay up till you hit 60, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be the next two days. <laughs> yeah. Earlier is a terrible, terrible. I got enough whiskey to get me through like another two hours. <laughs> Jesus. What? You are drinking a lot tonight, man. Yeah, I'm not fucking biz, bro. Don't be burnt hurt, Cyber. Don't be burnt hurt. Alright, some of us aren't in our 20s anymore and can't do that shit. <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking 26, alright? You're not yeah. that much older than me. Let's say I'm 24. I'm the youngest here, I guess. Cyber's yeah, fucking good. like 78 or some shit. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's what I tell one of my coworkers. He's like, he's like 32. And I'm like, fucking grandpa over here. <laughs> <laughs> You get so mad about it, dude. Dude, my, I'm sorry, my wife how are does. You, bro? <laughs> you fucking old bastard. My wife does that shit, and I kind of do it to myself. Like I'll talk about something, and she goes, "I wasn't even born yet," or "I was in like elementary school," and I'm like, "Oh my fucking god." <laughs> yeah, this man fucking was alive when Hitler was dominating shit. <laughs> hey. Hitler knew how to drink, all right? <laughs> Dude, you're fucking Irish. You should be I out know. drinking all of us. By a mile. Uh, I used to be able to, then I stopped drinking for a while. Yeah, yeah it's I, bad. When yeah, you take whatever. Break. I'm just fucking with you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm a big time shit talker, so... Yeah. I know, yeah, I used to be able to, like, drink a whole bottle and still be up walking around perfectly fine, coherent. Yeah, me too. I don't know, but I feel like me and Jixer might have the advantage on you because we both lived in the barracks, and the barracks is like a whole another yeah. animal, bro. Yeah. The bears is, will literally teach you how to be a man in like a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad that I'm, I don't have to be in the barracks anymore, though. Bro, I, I mean, I, honestly, I'm glad, but at the same time, like, you gotta, you gotta love it, man. Uh, to an extent, just, you know what I mean. There's just something about not having another grown man inspect your room. Yeah. But and then the inspections were an asshole. Yeah, and it's always some bullshit too. It's always like they hit you on some stupid shit. I'm like, dude, let's go look at your room. Tell me, look at like your room. white glove. Like you fucking ser yeah, serious? Yeah. Like, first aren't like what the fuck? Dust on horizontal surfaces. I'm like, what do you mean? I got some gets... dust on my fan blade. Fuck off. Yeah, like, dude, it gets dusty in like 20 seconds in here. Like, <laughs> did you guys have to share rooms? I currently am. Absolutely. Yeah. And AIT, bro. Well, no, like whenever you got to your uh, first duty station. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, me and uh, Sapita, now Sarn uh, Sapita, we fucking both shared rooms. Okay. I did, and I currently am at this very second, okay. since I'm in Okinawa. Uh, we, are, we are in like a, I don't know, small ass room. Two beds, yeah. two desks, one dresser, two yeah. This man beds. probably spent most of his life on a ship though no nah, cbs don't go on ships at all it's very rare oh, shit. Damn. yeah i specifically did not want to go on a ship that's why i looked at cv jobs it sounded terrible going on a ship i was like the military but out at sea where you truly can, you know can't do anything and they can breathe down your neck i was like that sounds horrible <laughs> Nah, you wanted to be in the sub, didn't you? Be locked down in the cold, dark, cylindrical tube with all of nothing Luckily but men. Me, I'm 6'4", so if that was disqualified, 
<laughs> oh, really? Oh, damn. Yeah, it wasn't even an option for me to even think about that. Not that I would have. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully that was taken off the table for me. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, at least that can't happen. <laughs> that would be terrible. I've yeah. heard that is like pretty rough. And some of the, well, some of the, cause I've met some dudes that, you know, were like just basically like taking a break, but were on the sub and they were like, you know, pulled into port for a little bit or something. Yeah. And they were like telling me like how awful it is and like funny stuff. Like, you know, you think it's bad when you forget something when you're like flying out to, you know, your deployment. They're like, think about when you forget something on a sub and you're not coming up for three months. Like, you forget deodorant on a sub? Fuck. Toothpaste? Fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You don't have it, you don't have it. They probably have some shitty ass meals on there too. Uh, yeah. Meals are already pretty shitty. I can only imagine. Yeah, they probably just eat MREs. Oh. Dude, I, would wanna, I, I truly would like probably say I wanted to off myself so I could get out of it. Because MREs aren't bad, but like long term, I yeah. would fucking want to die. I don't mind them for like field exercises for two or three weeks, like whatever. Really not a bad time. A little chili mac or a little hash browns. Good to go. But for fucking months, dude, oh my god. They open up my. I don't even know what you bring on there. You probably bring like, like one suitcase or something, maybe. Dude, they don't open up my suitcase, dude. It'd be like 90% snacks. <laughs> like, dog, I'm. I have to not eat emeries. <laughs> And they'd be like, what the fuck? It is what it is. <laughs> Getting all the star metal is gonna actually take, like, forever. I'm at 1400. Jeez. What, only 8600 more? Yeah. But I figure, like, dude, if I get 10,000 star metal, star metal bleh, and then I just buy the iron ore and make steel ingots, and then I make all that star metal ore into ingots, yeah, like, I feel like yeah. that's, like, a lot of ore. So... Do you have a... Uh, make... Sorry, sorry, Brian. So, oh, I was gonna say, if I make I didn't all mean those to interrupt ingots, you, then I should be, like, pretty high up there in weapon, weapon smithing after that. It has to be. Probably isn't, but it has to be. Why can't I fucking hit you, dude? You have Twitch, Jixer? Do I have what? Twitch? Sorry. Oh, no, I don't Twitch. Aw, oh, damn, bro, you lame as hell. Yeah. I mean, if you, had a, if you had a Twitch, you wouldn't be in the military. No, like, the app, bro. I know. It's funny. Oh, uh, bro, you're so fucking funny, <laughs> dude. Uh. <laughs> this guy's fucking flagged. I'm gonna do him right now. Uh. Dual 55? Fuck it. See what happens, right? I'll kill my fucking hammer then. Fuck off. That's so fucking fast, bro. I can't even catch him right now. <laughs> fast as fuck, boy. That boy is gone, dude.
can't even fucking. This is shit, bro. He's fucking so fast. Dude, literally last night I spent so long trying to get my jewel crafting done that when I went to sleep I had like two and a half or three hours before my duty session in the morning <laughs> and I woke up by like pure chance like like right like I literally had to like run there almost I, I refused to run yeah like, so you just look like an idiot but I like literally like had to get ready and immediately just throw everything on and like get out of the door as fast as possible and I was like a little late like to the because we do 15 minutes prior. So like I wasn't late to the actual muster, but to the whole 15 minutes prior bullshit, I was late. Yeah. So I texted my buddy and told him to tell tell our duty section leader that I was taking a shit. <laughs> hey, Jixer, don't late. you know you need to be 15 minutes prior to the five minutes, the 15 minutes prior to the five minutes, bro. Yeah, you know, our senior <laughs> chief, our EA, our senior chief actually was telling us He's like, you know, we've really been slacking with the military bearing around here. He's like, so, you know, don't get it confused when we start doing 15 minutes prior to the 15 minutes prior. And I was like, like oh, bro, we've already God. been fucking doing that. What are you talking about? Well, like, our cool, the people who are in charge of us that are cool, like, it'll be like a 730 muster. And they'll be like, dude, just get there like 725 or some shit. Like, you know, because, like, if you have, like, a cool fire team or squad and you know everyone's not going to be morons, they can just get there, you know, five minutes before and it's all good. But like this this cocksucker, like he's like any any rule he can think of, dude. He's like, Oh, this would really kill morale. I'm gonna I'm gonna re implement this. <laughs> yeah. And like my buddy, he's an inspector and he's been inspecting all of our equipment and we have like construction equipment and humvees and, and stuff like that and like he's a really good mechanic, so like as he sees quick fixes for things that are like making that, that piece of equipment not operable. He's like quickly fixing them and like he fixed eight deadlined equipment basically like you're, you can't use it because it's unsafe or you know basically it'll ca cause damage to the vehicle or personnel um he fixed eight pieces and took them off deadline while he was doing inspections still doing all of his work went up to that same senior chief and he's like like hey senior i just want to let you know like inspections are all done i took eight pieces off deadline while i was doing it and he was like is that your job? I think you should only be doing your job. Why are you wasting your time doing someone else's job? Your job is to inspect it and tell someone else to do it. And he was like, all right, cool. Well, you know, I took the initiative, but fuck me. Yeah, yeah fuck like, me, right? <laughs> yeah. He's like, got it. Won't fix it. He, he literally was funny, but he's like, got it. Not going to fix anything else. Just don't care. I'm over it. <laughs> so dumb. That shit was funny though. He literally, he was like, he came down. He's like, you know what this motherfucker just told me? Like, <laughs> you won't fucking believe it. Hmm. <laughs> Bro, what is y'all's like PT center now? Our PT what? Uh, standard like to pass a PT test. Uh, I don't know. I just know, like, I have to do, like, I'm 24, so I have to do, like... What do you mean, old no, bro? Come like, because I'm not, like, skating too close to it where I'm nervous. Um, not, not your height and weight. I'm talking about your fucking... What yeah, do you have? that's what... I think it's, like, I have to run a mile and a half quicker than... It's, like, 13 minutes or something around there. Oh, and okay. I have to do like I don't know the push-up minimum, but I, I just do like 50 push-ups, and that's fine. Like I'm not trying to go above and beyond, so I just know 50s is not too low. 
It's like a good number, middle of the pack. And then we do planks. You have to do a plank for like the minimum of like two minutes or something. Which is... Yeah. I, I know they recently had changed it, right? Like that for training. Yeah, we do planks instead of sit-ups. And I also row. I use the rowing machine. I just think it's more fun. They put it out there and you don't need a reason. You can just choose to use it. So I was like, alright, this is new. Pretty pretty good time. Dude, the rower is fucking tough, man. It really I is. get like a, I get an extremely high PT score on that. Like I'm nice, not. I'm, bro. So I get, Are you good at the rower? I'm pretty good, but like I do 2,000 meters in 7 minutes and 26 seconds was my last best. But to like, I mean, and that's like obviously there's, you know, Olympic athletes doing significantly better. But like to max it out for the Navy to get like the highest score possible is 7 minutes flat. So I'm only 26 seconds off and like my form isn't like perfect. And that's, I don't do it a ton. I just enjoy it at the gym sometimes after I lift just to hit the rower. It's like more fun to me than running. But, uh, Dude, absolutely. It's definitely a best form of cardio. If you've never done the, uh, if you never done the uh, Jacob's Ladder, I highly recommend it. It's a great yeah. form of cardio. I, I I hear that a lot. It's just one of those things. Like the same with the rower. I was super skittish about it for a long time, and then I embraced it. I need to, to fuck with the Jacob's Ladder at some point too. I just haven't touched it, but dude, the rower like nukes me, dude. Like, by the time I'm done with the rower, like, my quads are all, like, shot, my biceps are shot, my back is shot, because <laughs> I just rip that thing as hard as I can. Every time I push off, dude, it's, like, everything just snapping out. I just put in I just put in global chat looking for free handouts of star middle ore so that I can spend more time with my family instead of my of wasting my life on here. <laughs> See if they, anyone gets a kick and actually <laughs> somebody says fuck family, new world is your own. Funny. That guy's Nate Diaz. <laughs> what if that was the actual Nate Diaz? Definitely yeah. not. <laughs> Nate Diaz low-key plays this game in between his triathlon. I'll be right back though, I gotta eat my pizza. Yo, are you guys going to uh, talk to Narco? What do you mean? You gotta tell him, ask him why he's he's prioritizing his uh, girlfriend over this game. Oh. <laughs> Who, Narco? Yeah. Oh, shit. Man got whipped. You gotta tell him that. <laughs> that boy got whipped. <laughs> Fucking flag right now, ready for some fucking action, boys. Yeah, I feel like I only ever. I'm always flagged, but I typically just get really annoyed. Like yesterday, I was farming. Um, I was farming, what is it, thick hide? 
and this green was in there and he kept running in circles around buildings so it took me like 10 minutes to finally kill him Jeez. and then he immediately came back and then I immediately spent another 10 minutes trying to kill him as he ran around hiding and killed him again and then 10 minutes later he shows up with three people and then they kill him I was pissed I was like god damn it I almost got him too I had him all spread out like that bad man hurt me <laughs> yeah I was like this motherfucker I was like literally I could not even have a shot at killing me so he calls in his boys I was like I mean I guess I kind of feel him because I feel like some of us would do the same. Like, hey, yeah. this guy's Bro, how? Murder me. Sorry. No, you're good. What's up? Bro, I was trying to talk to chat, but this, I like forget to mute myself, so I get. Mm. Sorry. You know, really disruptive. <laughs> So I got three hours of sleep last night, but I got watch from 1.30 in the morning until 7.30 in the morning. And right now it's almost 5 p.m., so I'm like, like 7 and go to sleep. And then I'm going to get a half day tomorrow. And I'll just have to go to work till lunch. I'm going to accomplish absolutely nothing. <laughs> to a fun area. Uh, yo, Jixer. Hmm? Oh, shit. I'm fucking... No, you're not muted. You... Oh, shit, alright. You guys you're don't want to do, uh, Dynasty? I don't, I don't really know how to do it. Because I did it once a long time ago. But if you need someone, I'll do it. There's no need, bro. Let's just fucking do it. There's a, no need to know how. If you guys want to do it, but do we have a heat? Oh, Cyber's a healer, right? Yeah. We just need two DPS. You guys ever think about how weird it was like for you guys more recently but like all the zones that you like really couldn't go into because you would just get murked yeah and like how easy they are let's see about that the other day like when the game first dropped like you couldn't make steel tools at any of the towns and like no one had them upgraded for like a long time yeah so i i used to literally run all the way to uh valor hold in eating grove as like a level like a level twenty or fifteen or something to go make steel tools up there to try to sell them like a bunch of gold. Yeah. I would literally yeah. set camps like every five hundred meters because I was like probably gonna die. Like one wolf attacked me. Screwed. Yeah, that's how it was with these uh 
some of these corruptions in the low level areas how it'd be like the like a 35 level corruption in a 25 level area mm -hmm. so we'd have to avoid them and everything <laughs> yeah that's wild Like, I'm about to head into reef water. Reef water's like my favorite farming place. Always gives me something to have to assist me.
most lost.
How we doing, boys? How we doing? Good, all right. Are we awake? Are we alive? Are we well? I don't know about I well. Like, I was like half asleep, but you got me pretty good there. That's, that's, a, like... that's a good check in. Posture check. Drink a little water. Wake the fuck up. Let's go, all right? Come on. Listen, I'm always down for checking in with the game, you know what I mean? It's 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 common procedure. Wake up, yeah. make sure everybody's doing okay. Got the jams going, you got a little tunes going in your ear or what? Well, I'll tell you what, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Kyle, how we doing? Doing all right, how about you? You awake there, buddy? Eh. Yeah. Dixer, how about you? Beautiful. This man sounds so sweet, bro. I'm so tired, dude. I literally got three hours of sleep and it like run Go to bed, sick. bro. Get you some good rest and recuperate and come back tomorrow strong. I know, but I'm trying to push it off because. That way I sleep up until my watch, and I get like a full sleep, so I want to stay up for like another 30 minutes or an hour. But I'm nearing the end. Yeah. Well, do you have any tunes going in your ear or no? No. I only usually do have no ones in chat. Play some like Iron Maiden or something. Just listen to that and run around. Yeah, bro. You gotta have some tunes going. If you're trying to stay up, it's a must. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to, bro. It's just a must. I mean, I'm a little drunk, but at the same time, I'm not wrong. I mean, I'm drinking a whole bottle of Gentleman's Jack. Actually, a bottle and a half, but I know what I'm talking about. Tunes are a must in this type of situation. You guys should uh, surprise me and when I wake up in the morning just be waiting here with 10,000 star metal ore <laughs> that that will be uh Stockton over here he, he's got the uh, the high enough uh, mining to do that shit <laughs> it's got to be the worst ore to farm it's like so competitive what are we talking there. about here? Star metal. Star. Oh, a little star metal action, baby. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm just sitting here fucking up corrupted, baby. That's what I did. Dude, fuck. Yo, somebody tell me where fucking Legorath is at. Right the fuck now. Cause I'm lost. Over yonder. You know what, Jixxer? You can suck a fat one, brother. <laughs> well, I know where he's at. Do you? Yeah. Well, tell me, you fucking bitch. He's up in that one part, right next to that uh, one building. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, he's right there, brother. That's yeah. where he's at. Yeah. You should have fucking said it earlier, you fucking bastard. I would have fucking known. Oh, we're not, we're not a team. Hold on. 
Bitch, I'm flag. Oh. <laughs> Dumbass. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to PvP. How am I, dumbass? I don't know, just cuz. Yeah. Dude, I really don't know where this guy's at. I'm about to fucking YouTube this shit. Cause I'm already, like, right in the spot, but... Uh, uh Burrow says he's yeah. good to go. For Dynasty? Yeah, well, I need to find this fucking Ligarath first. You're at the Stop. Mountain Temple, right? Thunder Cradle. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, there's a place called Mountain Temple, and he's like all the way at the top. Yeah, right up there over yonder. Fuck off, Jixer. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm heading. I'm, I'm I'm heading that way. Fucking Jickers over here, like, yeah, he's right over yonder, bro. He's right there to the southwest, like, right he, there. He's bro. right behind you, man. Yeah, bro, he's right there. Literally, look to your right, take a little left behind you, like, move the couch a little bit to the right, and he's right fucking there, dude. <laughs> he's like your ex-wife. Just fucking move it a little bit. God damn. <laughs> Fuck off, Jixer. <Jesus. laughs> Are you guys gonna need me for Dynasty? Yes. So hang around there, mother man. How long does Dynasty take to run? Like 30 minutes? Three and a half hours. No, no, really. How long does Dynasty take to run? I, th I think it's like 30 uh, like, minutes. Honestly, bro, like two and a half. You should be good. <laughs> I think it's probably like 30 minutes. No, for real, though, like an hour and a half. You sure, bro? Are you serious? I, I, I think it's like 30 minutes. Bullet sketched out now. Pull up your map, where are you at? I'm a fucking dickhead, bro. You don't want to stream right now? Yes. It's up, bitch. Fucking look at it. Now, hold on. Look at my cock. It's zoom out. Zoom in. Yeah, zoom in where you're at. Alright. I'm trying to head to where you're at right now. Where you at, bro? Where I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find you. All right, fucker. Hurry the fuck up, bro. I need hurt. I'm getting fucking smacked over here. Uh, well, yeah. I. Uh, you can minimize your map now, but I'm trying to like find you on the map. Um, uh, my area now. Damn it, bro! You, come on, brother. Fucking join the chat so I can talk to you. Ah, uh, I'm right in front of you. All right, follow me. You know where this son of a bitch is at? Yeah, I've already done this mission. Oh, alright, well, bitch, why did you fucking tell me earlier, dude? What the fuck? This one.
Bro, why didn't you just fucking tell me where this guy was at? I could have done it myself. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Alright, bro. Good night. Yeah, I'll catch you guys. I don't know. Alright, man. One day. <laughs> yeah, get, get some good rest, bro. You deserve it. Yeah, I worked really hard today for it. You've done a lot for your country, my friend. Yeah. Nah, I wish that though. Lot. You <laughs> do, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Really, though, man. I, I, I do appreciate your service. As a, as a <laughs> service member. Yeah, no, thank you for I your do, service. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you for yours. Get some good rest, bro. Wake up, recuperate it, drink some water. <laughs> no, no, I'm not being funny, bro. I'm being dead ass. We should be hydrated. What about, should I put a little lemon in there? Or? No, just water, bro. Just oh, hydrate. Lemon's drink good for metabolism. It is, man, but... Just make sure you're hydrated, bro. That's all that matters. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm Body needs sleep. water. Later, man. Appreciate you guys. Later. Damn, bro, I was way off. Yeah. Where the fuck was I at? Yeah, he's all the way at the top. He's in this, <laughs> he's in this building. Narco! He's all the way up in here. <laughs> you want, you, we're gonna have to kill these guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tink Daddy is one of my, uh, one of my buddies, that's, uh, 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 he was my wife's old boss. <laughs> hey, Carl. Yeah. <clears throat> I just wanted to let you know that, uh. I have potentially hit my uh, final form. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gone? <laughs> Not yet. I'm like Frieza before he fights like Goku. You know what I mean? 
Not Goku Super Saiyan like the form before that. <laughs> yes, I I think he is very drunk. <laughs> Fucking crack! <laughs> Down to play some Apex, bro? Yeah, he is toasted. Nah, I'm probably gonna hop off in a little bit. Oh shit, alright. some sleep myself before oh my wife starts to kill me oh yeah yeah he's already threatened numerous times <laughs> dude it's only fucking two o'clock yeah Come on, man. Make sure another one. Let's hang out. We'll do some chill missions. <laughs> we'll do some easy shit. Let's go to like a uh, Weaver or something. And she she wants attention. The pregnant lady wants attention. You remember how that was, uh... right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got some shit stuck in my throat, bro. Holy shit. <clears throat> hey, what I tell you about keeping that dick in your throat? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. I, I just keep getting the little sign of bitch. Like, oh, man. I don't know what's going on, bro. Like, I just keep hearing, like, bitch into my ear, and it's like. It's really it's weird. It's, 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 it's. Yeah, like <laughs> something about my wife and the tension. It's like it's it's like cancer to my ears. I don't know. I'm good though. Bitch, little fucking bitch. Oh yeah. shit! God damn. Might wanna, uh, you you <laughs> might want to get that checked out, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that worked out, brother. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I think I might yeah. hop off. You might hop off? Yeah. Damn, bro. You let me down. Bro. I'm sorry, man. <sighs> Alright, bro. Alright, man. Um, I'll hit you up tomorrow. No, fuck you, bro. No, I'm never talking to you again. Alright, man. <laughs> it's so good. Well, right, if, I don't, <laughs> if I don't see you again, don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> oh, damn. It's like that? <laughs> oh, it's like that, bro? It's like this. 
That's like that. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. I love you, brother. Yeah, yeah. Take I it easy, man. Too, man. Have a good night. You too, have a good man. Night, my friend. Have, have some more fun. Later, bro. Later. All right, guys. It was good playing with you. I uh, will see you another time.